long-lasting battery, fast processors and great camera. Well, this is what the Oppo A31 is all about, but that's not all. So here I am breaking down some of the other top five features of the phone, just in case you were looking for a budget upgrade. Display and design, well, it's a nicely done phone. The design is great, it's solid build quality is great, it's sturdy and it's premium looking and at the same time it's lightweight because it has this plastic bag and it's got a 3D effect on that as well and it comes in two colours, mystery black and fantasy white and then at the back if you look at the design it's got a triple camera setup at the back, it's uh, also got a fast and smooth fingerprint sensor and an effective face recognition sensor as to most other phones. Now, as far as the display of this phone is concerned, it comes with a massive, a massive 6.8 inch HD plus nano water drop notch display, which actually is built to give you an immersive experience while you play games or you watch movies or your videos. But the most important thing is that it filters out the harmful blue light that often leads to eye fatigue. So that did not happen in the case of this phone. I used it for uh, quite a lot of time to not play games, but yes, to watch movies. So it's a very sleek looking phone. It's lightweight, like I said, has got curved edges, which actually make it look very, very, um, you know, premium. It's got these volume buttons on this side, and then you have the power button on the right hand side of the phone. And then there is a selfie camera in the front, right in the middle of the phone. Let's now talk about the camera. Now, as far as cameras are concerned, the Oppo A31 comes with a triple rear camera setup. Like I said at the back, it's got a 12 megapixel camera. Uh, that's the primary camera. The second is a 2 megapixel uh, ma macro camera. And the third one is a 2 megapixel depth camera. Now, it's a combination of all of these three cameras that, that actually um, you know, gives you clear and bright images with great zooming capabilities as well. The 8 megapixel camera in the front that you can see is great for capturing some of those stunning selfies and besides that it's also got some interesting modes as well. You've got the HDR mode, you've got the dazzling mode, you've got portrait shots, selfie and lots more. And uh, as far as the colours of this phone are concerned, I think it just uh, seems pretty decent to me. They're pretty sharp. Uh, you know, in, uh, even in uh, low light conditions, the colors seemed pretty decent. Now let's come to performance. The Oppo A31 comes with a super large memory of 128 GB ROM with 6 GB RAM and then it's also got another variant which is a 64 GB ROM with 4 GB RAM uh, with expandable storage as well. Uh, you, you have the option of expandable memory storage as well and yes, it doesn't hang if you're operating multiple apps at the same time, you're moving from gaming, then you're going to, uh, let's just say, uh, watching videos, uh, you know, to social networking. It was pretty smooth switching between these apps. And it's got a Helio P35 octa-core processor, which runs smoothly during video games and video playback. But yes, um, you know, it's not meant for high-end games as it causes a little bit of lag. On the software front, let me tell you that the phone operates on uh, Android 9.0, which offers intelligent and smooth navigation for a, you know, a great uh, a mobile phone experience. And then, as far as the battery is concerned, again, the battery is great. It's got a, a 4230 mAh or 4230 mAh massive battery, which will actually last you for more than just a day. Your battery will last for a little more than a day on medium to heavy usage. And that's it from me on the Oppo A31. In case you decide to buy it, let me know what you thought of it, what were the great features according to you, what worked, what did not work. You can find me on Instagram at the rate of the